Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and welcome back to the finance channel. I hope all of you are having a great day out there. As always, here today, I want to talk to you all about something that's really been in the back of my head, not just over the past few weeks and past few months, but really ever since I started this YouTube channel a little over a year ago. I was talking about stocks, cryptocurrencies, finance in general, and it all revolves around the idea of honesty. Now, when you look at YouTube, this is a social media platform like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, although a little bit different. On YouTube, you can get content no matter what or content that kind of fits whatever type of person you are or whatever type of things you want to watch, whether it be nature or science or cooking or just random entertainment vlogs, videos, golf, sports, etc. There is everything on this platform, including finance. Now, one of the things that social media does, and this is probably one of the biggest negatives of it, is that it displays a false reality. When you look at these different social media platforms, they generally show the positives, but not the negatives. And when you look at YouTube and the different finance creators on YouTube, rarely do you ever see them go out and talk about all of the stocks they've mentioned and talk positively about no matter if they're winners or if they're losers. And in this video, I want to take you all through every single stock and cryptocurrency. I've put these all into a spreadsheet, give you the first time I ever mentioned them, talk positively about them, the price then, the price now, the price differential, and exactly what's going on when it comes to an average. So, if you end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. And with that out of the way, let's get into it here. So here we go. This is it. I made a spreadsheet a couple days ago, highlighting pretty much every single stock or crypto that I've ever talked positively about. Now, I may not be, you know, too fair to myself right here because, again, a lot of these stocks I potentially bought into a little bit before I made my first video or it just so happened that, you know, an analysis video that I made was at a stock's peak and so on and so forth. But I just want to keep it real with you guys and, you know, not kind of fake these numbers. This is literally pretty much every single stock that I've talked about in every analysis video, in every stocks to buy video. And again, any video that I created here on the finance channel over the past year. Now, again, you have to understand that my approach to investing is looking at it from a three to five year time horizon. So another thing to consider is the fact that We're only one year in so far, and a lot of these picks were picked in early to mid-2021. So, you know, we're really only talking about a six to maybe nine-month time horizon with a lot of these stocks, which, again, isn't my kind of investing strategy. But, again, I want to be honest with you guys. Let's go through this. So here we have it. Again, I started my channel here on October the 27th. I made a Dropbox video, you know, got like uh, 400 views. It was, you know, so phenomenal. The stock at the time traded at $19.12, a big bull on it. And hey, it's up 45%, even after dropping like 15% uh, after their earnings uh, yesterday, I think it was. So, you know, great. You have Slack, got acquired by Salesforce at $45, $46 per share, 72%. Lemonade. Stock that's involved in the, uh, again, insurance game, up 46%. Revolve, phenomenal company, up literally over 4x since I made my video in November. Facebook, again, it's such a great company. I own Facebook. It's awesome. Up 16% since I made my video. Then you have the real, real, pretty much break even. So, hey, I had a nice streak, right? Six, seven stocks that were, you know, consistently up. And then, hey, you hit a bit of a rough rough patch, rather. You see Teladoc here. Down 26%. I made my video when it was at $200 per share. I said, hey, it shows some value at these levels, although I probably would consider waiting for the $150, $170 level. Hey, it's at $150 now, down 26%. You know, the thing about humans is that no one's perfect. No one can pick only winners in the stock market, especially in a shorter time frame. So when I look at a lot of these companies, you know, hey, it's down 26%. I don't really care, though. You know, if you go into a store, you buy a shirt that you absolutely love and want to, you know, continuously wear every single day, 
you see it selling for a hundred bucks. Awesome. Then you go in a week later and you say, Hey, it's now trading at, you're not trading, but there's a discount, 40% discount. They're selling it for 60 bucks now. Are you going to go ahead and, you know, try and refund the shirt that you originally had? Or are you going to go ahead and buy another shirt or another few shirts? You know, in my opinion, if you love that shirt, you're probably going to buy a couple more because it's on sale. So when I look at all these stocks, that's kind of the, the position and mindset that I have. Hey, even if it's down, that's an opportunity. And if you're a bull on Teladoc, which, you know, at the time, you know, I, I it was, you know, I like the business model and so on and so forth. And the valuation is, you know, kind of rich, but, you know, it, it's a good company. And we'll see what happens here moving forward. Again, you have Voyager up, you know, 3x since I made my first video at $6.22. Tattooed Chef, again, another example. My cost base is at $18. Hey, I made my first video at 24 bucks, down 26%. Shift, Corsair, again, these are companies that... You know, I love for the long run. Corsair especially, this is a company that I just recently bought at 26 bucks. You know, I, I like the business model. I like the company at 30 bucks, 38 bucks, but I didn't buy in. And again, just an example of that. Furthermore, again, Callaway, Palantir, Pinterest, negative 45%. Again, you see this, right? And we'll talk about my plan here moving forward in a moment here. You have Shopify up 20%. Tesla, since I made my um, my kind of like bullish video and a stocks to buy video, up 75%. Fubo, High Tide, Peloton even, you know, these are companies that I talked, you know, just, just positively about. And, you know, they're, they're, they're down pretty significantly. Enphase, 55%. Acuity, 61%. I'll probably end up making an update video on Acuity soon. Again, Clean Spark, Big Digital, Guru, up, you know, modestly over the past little while. Alibaba, rather, down 25%, although it has rebounded pretty significantly. SoFi, up 30%. Smile Direct Club, down 23%. Discovery, a new one, up 6%. And then you have some cryptocurrencies here that are, uh, again, some are up, some are down, some are uh, you know, kind of modestly up. Now, when you look at the overall average, 20%. Hey, when I look at myself and my investing strategy, my goal is to get a 20% return over a long period of time, over, you know, year in and year out. That's a phenomenal return. You're beating the market in a major, major way. And although, you know, stocks in general, the large cap indexes and whatnot have moved up closer to 30% over the past year, given that the Russell 2000, again, considering a lot of these companies are smaller caps, generally in the couple billions of dollars of range, you know, I'm honestly quite happy with this, considering the fact, again, that a lot of these companies, the ones that are down massively, aren't companies that I bet on massively, right? Something like Acuity, I've said this from the very first day, or well, where is Acuity? It is a smaller cap company. It's more of a potential speculative play. When it comes to making bigger positions, obviously it all is dependent on conviction and your portfolio return will depend on that, right? You know, obviously this right here, on average, taking all of these stocks, finding the average 20%, when you look at my portfolio, hey, I got a little bit lucky. I bought Voyager, you know, I made it a significant position at six to $5 per share, right? And that's helped my portfolio in a massive way. Again, the tattooed chef, I got in at 18 bucks, right? And again, that's all just, you know, I like to consider it just luck. Because at the end of the day, in the short term, a stock can go up, it can go down, it can go in circles, it can go, you know, wherever the hell it wants to go. But it's all about the long term vision and picture of these companies. And when I look kind of, when I look rather at all of the companies that I've analyzed, Nothing has really changed for them in a massive, massive way. And when I look at what's going on, you know, with me personally and my goal here moving forward, I want to start to shift away from talking about companies that I don't own. And I want to start kind of or kind of creating videos based solely off of the positions that I have in my portfolio. So again, this is companies like Voyager. This is companies like Discovery, a recent, recent pick of mine, Smile Direct Club, potentially Alibaba every once in a while, maybe going ahead, Tattooed Chef and, you know, Corsair Gaming, these companies that I believe in for the long run that I think have massive potential that I want to start talking about more on a more consistent basis 
and not kind of spreading myself really thin by covering 50 to 100 companies a year, which I think kind of does decrease long-term credibility. So that's my goal. I'm going to go ahead again, just discuss the companies I believe in that I own. And again, kind of offer insight into my investing strategy through that way. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's definitely not, you know, the, the best thing in the world to cover your losses, talk about them, but it's something we all should do. And I think it's, you know, really, really important with no doubt to say, hey, I messed up, right? I, I'm not perfect. I don't think anyone is. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here over the next couple of years. But, you know, I'm confident with what I'm doing here. I'm confident with, you know, the analysis that I do. And I do, you know, understand that I'm going to get better with time, right? And I think that's something that we can all say about ourselves that over time, as we invest in stocks, as we cover companies, our analysis will improve and, you know, kind of our way of gaining conviction will improve over time. So that's kind of my thought process around all of this. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. Obviously, you know, it's been an interesting year and I really do look forward to continuing to create content over the coming years. And all, although it may be a little bit more specific through these companies that I own, just, you know, I understand that, you know, if you want to see a video, just let me know in the comment section down below and, uh, you know, we'll try and make it work. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos, subscribing, hitting that like button. We just hit 5,500 subscribers on the channel. It's just a you know, an incredible number. And I, I really do appreciate each and every one of you who do, you know, stop by, watch my videos. And uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.